I have something very exciting to share with you today. It's a miniature robot that draws the time, erases it, and then rewrites the time every minute. This idea is originated by Ju called Plot Clock, but I have added the ability to control it manually using three rotary encoders so you can use it to draw anything you want. And also made a housing for it so it looks nice and complete. Let's quickly go over the components required. Three 9G servers. I'm using the MG90S, which have metal gears, but the normal 9G hobby service will work just fine as well. Three rotary encoders, ESP32 for the microcontroller, a real time clock. I'll be using the DC3231, five volts power supply. I'll be using a DC jack from the mains. Remember, you can't use the 5 volts from your microcontroller as the servers draw too much current. That's why we need a separate power supply. M2 and M3 bolts and nuts. A whiteboard sheet and some sort of a whiteboard pen. And that's all the components needed for this project. Regarding the 3D printed parts, I have left a link for you in the description where you can get all the models you need to print for this project. For the wiring for this project, here is a diagram of all the wiring. It's very important to remember to connect the ground of the power supply to the ground of the microcontroller so everything runs smoothly. For the assembly, you can easily refer to the 3D model and see where each part goes. Make sure you drill holes for the power jack and the microcontroller USB connection on the side of the housing. This is left for you to drill to accommodate any changes you make to the components or wiring. To keep the wiring compact, I have soldered solid core wire to each of the component wires to act like male header pins. Then I use a strip board with male and female header pins to connect everything together. Here is a diagram of the strip board wiring if needed. Once you have everything connected and assembled, it's time to calibrate the servos. To do this, First, make sure the server and the encoder pin numbers match your connections and then upload the code which you can find in the link in the description below. When you turn everything on, the two servos should move in 90 degrees back and forward like this. If they do not, untighten the screws and turn the arms without turning the servo motor until they make this movement. If after you've done this and the servo arms do not make 90 degree turns, you can change these factor values until you get that 90 degree movement. Once you have it calibrated, then just change the current mode variable to 1 to change it to manual control. And now when you turn the encoders, you will move the head of the arms. The first encoder moves it horizontally, the second vertically, and the third is the lift. To switch to the auto mode so it automatically writes the time, just press the left encoder and now it will do its thing. Once you can verify that everything is working as expected, you can now attach the pen and add the eraser and watch it write and erase the time every minute. And that's all the project done. I hope you enjoyed this project. This is a quick little project you can do. It's great to do to learn the basics of servos and rotary encoders and how to make a simple robot arm. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed or found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next project.